This is a Chrysler 2.7 engine. A lot of people, if they know about engines or mechanics, uh, they know that this engine is kind of known for some problems with sludge and other things. Although, when it runs nice, it runs nice. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I don't want to get an argument over, uh, you know, engine technology or, you know, what you think about this or that. But I just want to point out some tip that a lot of people are ignoring. It's a very simple tip and there's actually a number of things I'm going to go into on this video about the 2.7 engine and some of the things you could do to resolve the problems. But uh, one thing people are forgetting about in the winter time they grab any type of antifreeze. Now this is the 2.7 engine that's in the Chrysler from 2001 on up. Um, now there's one critical issue with it is the water pump starts leaking water it's internal to the engine so if the water leaks inside the engine it mixes with the oil it gets into rod bearings and goodbye motor so it's very critical to use the proper type of antifreeze with this engine it's far more critical than in other engines and one of the issues people look at well they go to a store they'll say you know mixes with any type of antifreeze you know actually that is not true that is not true and uh, the one brand well you can use Mopar you can actually go to the dealership and use Mopar brand antifreeze but Xerox G05 is correct for this Chrysler 2.7 engine that was started being used in 2001 and it's in a lot of their vehicles and um, you want to use this because it's got the right corrosion inhibitors and the right water pump lubricant and it also has this particular like a minor sealant in it if there's a minor minor weepage in a water pump seal it will reseal minor minor problems that's why you want to use it it's uh, this type of antifreeze it's called HOT or hybrid organic acid technology this is right from Wikipedia they typically mis mix with other types but it's you don't want to you know you don't want to do that in the Chrysler. You want to keep only this type of antifreeze. And the reason I'm emphasizing this is because if you look at I, I'd say almost everybody that has this new 2.7 Chrysler product, they go to a store and they pick up an antifreeze and it says mixes with all types. Well you don't want to do that with the Chrysler 2.7 you want to use the Xerox or the Mopar and a lot of people would opt for the Xerox because it's less money but it is more money than a lot of other antifreezes out there but it's it's very high quality product now you most um, discount or box stores don't carry this a lot of automotive stores don't carry this I think Napa carries it or something you could buy it on Amazon or online but you want to use this type of antifreeze because you want to ensure the water pump to last as long as possible. You know, a lot of people realize that you need to change the oil more often or use a better quality oil in the engine with the 2.7 engine, uh, 2.7 Chrysler engine due to some sludge issues. But the sludge issues really arise from a leaking water pump. And why does a leaking water pump start? It, could, it often can be because somebody mixed the wrong type of antifreeze in with the Chrysler product or they changed the antifreeze and they said works with all makes and models and it really doesn't. You want to use the right stuff. And um, Now I know I'm going to get into a couple other things here because I know the issue with this engine was uh, pretty severe for a number of years and I'm showing a product here but the real problem is with this engine, it actually had several problems, and most of the problems were alleviated in two, 2004. Uh, 2001, 2002, and 2003 were the most severe problems. They had a number of issues with, um, you know, this may be controversial, but some of the oil passages weren't well, thick, wide, uh, opened up enough. They changed the... Uh, the, t the tensioner design, they changed the water pump design, the chain design. Later on, they made it a little bit better. They made the PVC valve um, a little bit different, so it breathes the crankcase breathes better. That's another issue. You want to actually clean the PVC valve on this engine. 
uh, more often to make sure that it, it um, the crankcase is breathing good so it doesn't have sludge problems. That'll help prevent sludge problems. But the simplest thing is, and I think this is the real thing that a lot of people do things wrong, is uh, they're not using the right type of antifreeze with this. It needs to have this type of whole antifreeze. GL5, Xerox GL5 is the right type for this engine, or you can go to the dealership and get the Mopar antifreeze. Now, if you have an issue with this engine and say you want to change, you want to change the water pump, um, it's a difficult job to do. Actually, it's pretty well. It's, uh, it's very labor intensive. But there's one thing you want to do when you change out this water pump. You want to um, use a. Um, you know, I'm not going to knock all aftermarket parts, but if you want to be on the safe side, not all aftermarket parts are created equal. You know, they all say meet or exceed OEM, and that's not always true. Uh, you actually want to get the Chrysler water pump. You're probably better off. You know, you're paying a little bit more money. It's a very, it's, it's at least as good as the best aftermarket pump out there. Now, and like again, you want to use the right antifreeze with the pump to make sure it has the most uh, pump life, the water pump life, so the water does not leak into the engine. In other words, the... Uh, seal and the bearing will last a lot longer it's uh it you know it's an anti-corrosion type antifreeze and if there's a slight slight leak in a water pump seal the xerox g05 will actually seal it up you know that's the other thing that's an advantage to it so and you don't want to mix any other types even though these other antifreezes say mig works with all makes and models that is not true anyway now, I drew a uh, rectangle here by this chain uh, tensioner. And actually, the problem with this, sometimes when they get sludge in these engines, the chain, chain tensioner either collapses or it gets stuck or whatever, and that's the problem. And then it loses all tension on this chain. Then the timing chain jumps, and then the cam gears, you know, all well, the valves hit the pistons, in short. That's what happens. But there's a device, and actually they should have made this right from the factory. It's amazing, you know. But they came out with this in the aftermarket. It's called a timing chain stop block. You can get them off of eBay to call it timing chain stop block for Chrysler 2.7 engine. And if you change out your chain and your water pump, and actually usually it's not the chain that's the problem. It's the, the water pump and the tensioner, it's easy to change lasts forever. It's never that really the chain that breaks. It's the it's the tensioner or the shoes or the or the pump. It's not the chain usually. But if you change all that stuff out and you want to change it because it's car's got a lot of miles on it, you want to put one of these in there, a stop block, and it's not a guaranteed insurance, but if you use this with the good water pump and the correct antifreeze, it probably will last a long time with good maintenance. So um, this is the chain stop block. It's kind of a big picture of it, but it fits right in this area. It bolts straight into the side of the engine, and it keeps this shoe, like if this, this uh, chain tensioner failed over here, the shoe would, it would, would hit this chain stop block, and it would hold everything together. They should have actually put this in there in the first place, but... They didn't, so, you know, and if you actually need to replace an engine in a car, and, you know, I guess, you know, some of the convertibles are more desirable. I have a 99 convertible Sebring with a Mitsubishi engine. That's why I never went to a newer one, because I, I was looking at this, and I says, man, I don't want to deal with this. Um, but if you have this, and you have, like, an engine failure, say, and, you know, there's a problem, make sure you get... If you get a 2.7 engine, and if it's for like a 2001, 2002, or 2003 car, make sure you get at least a 2004 or 2005 or up engine that you could put in there because it has the new design. Change out the water pump with the OEM, a Chrysler pump from the factory. Put this, this block stop thing in there and use the correct antifreeze, and it probably will last a long time. But, you know... That's something else, but just I want to point it out for the winter time because a lot of people out there are adding antifreeze at this time in these 2.7 engines, and they go into like the box store, the retail store, the auto parts store, and they don't even have this Xerox G05. Most of them don't, and they pick up antifreeze that says for 
all makes and models and you know what it they're not they're not that's bogus i don't know why they, they shouldn't write that on here actually it's not so super critical in a lot of other cars maybe that call for the hope antifreeze but in the chrysler with that water pump issue it is more critical so just want to put this out here because uh you know it could save somebody a lot of money if you you know if you use the wrong antifreeze and it causes your water pump to fail quicker that is a big issue because you're going to have goodbye motor in this engine in this engine so that's an important uh tip and i just want to pass that on and a lot of people don't notice that's a fact a lot of people don't notice so anyway